You got a tattoo? Then you got to have a story behind it. We're Tat Stories, and we bring our viewers those stories. We ship the kahuna to the AVNs in Las Vegas to grab ink tails for our viewers. Our first story comes from a gal who proved to be a Danish delight. Our second features an epic 300-inspired sleeve. And our final is a gal who's taken it off. Her ink, that is. This is Kahuna for Tat Stories, and I'm at the AVNs, and I've got Amanda. Amanda is from Denmark, and I'm here to tell you, folks, she's got ink for days. <laughs> she's got a beautiful chest piece. She's got a back piece. She's got ink on her arms, on her legs. We're going to get the story behind some of this. So, Amanda, tell me a little bit about the piece on your neck. What's that about? Actually, nothing. It's one of the only pieces that's about nothing. I just like skulls. All my home is filled with skulls. I have skulls everything, even furniture. And, yeah. Skull furniture, folks. Now that's classic. I love that. All right, now tell me a little bit about this arm. What do you got here? I got my anti-hero arm. It's a Darth Vader up here. And then I got Skeletor from He-Man and Shredder from Ninja Turtle. And here I got Magneto from X-Men. So I wanted uh, an arm that doesn't represent all the good things, but probably some of the bad things. So folks, she's got anti-heroes. We call them villains, but you know what? Anti-heroes. They are badass. I'm here to tell you. I, I'm a definite Darth Vader fan, and that absolutely works. Now tell me a little about this piece. You got a nice red there. Move in a little bit. Yeah. You got a nice red there. Tell me what that one's about. Oh, six. <laughs> I love sex so much, I needed a whole arm just for that, so up here we have my Care Bear raping my little pony, and then a little bit further down we got some more sex, but I just like hard sex, so I needed it on my shoulder where everybody can see it. Oh, okay, I like that. Yeah. So so tell me tell me a little bit about what's on your legs. Oh, uh, my monogram and the AVP. No, yeah, AVP, Alien vs. Predator. Okay, and AVP stands for what? Alien versus Predator. Okay, all right, I like that. Oh, that's a that's a classic piece. Now, what about your back? Have you done anything on your back? Lots and lots and lots. All right, tell me what you did. Uh, just some fun ladylike up here, and then I have kissed this on my ass. You heard it, folks. Yeah. She's got ass sync. That's always good. I can tell you, folks, it's spectacular. It's amazing. She's got just enough. No, you got an empty leg there. Are, oh, there you go. Folks, she calls that the money maker. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go with that. So, are you going to get any more? Yeah, of course. I'm going to get all tattooed. Okay, where are you going to get? Because I see a little bit of place there, but it's mainly your, one of your legs. But, but I've got to hold my leg, the whole leg here. And i got here. I don't want to have anything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And around the titties. So they're going to get a tattoo too. So they're going to get a border, guys. It's not so bad. It's a good thing, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Did one artist do all this or did several? Several, but mostly one artist. Okay, now tell me who the artist is and where they are, because I want to make sure that, it, that that person gets some props. Yeah. She's called Special J, and she's from Denmark, and uh, she has a private studio only. And it's called um, Annoying Couple. She has it with her boyfriend. And go online, go on Instagram, and check out Special J. She's so fucking good. Guys, you heard it. We absolutely want to check her out. And she's pretty as fuck. Tattoo artist who's pretty as fuck and really good. Oh, my. Could you, could you imagine, folks, not only does a tattoo artist look good, but she does fabulous work. It's like... Are you kidding me? That's like that's like the trifecta. Great ink, a great looking artist, and you know what? You can actually probably have a fun time while you're in the shop too. Yeah, you have. She's a very fun person too. So Well folks, we want to thank you so much for doing this, for sharing your ink with us. I really appreciate it. I know our audience does. No, this good. is the Kahuna from the AVNs and we are out. Yeah. Kahuna for Tat Stories here, and I'm at the AVN Awards, and I've got Odyssey, and Odyssey is freaking awesome, folks. 
He's got some amazing ink. And you know what? We got to talk about this sleeve because it is a bad boy to the max. Oh, I'll tell you all the stories. So, so I'll tell you what. Let's find out. Odyssey, tell me a little bit about that thing. What's on there? What does it mean? Why is it important? Well, I like Greek mythology since I was little. I always dreamed to look like a gladiator, like a Spartan. So my tattoos, they're all from 300. If you guys haven't seen the movie 300, it's about King Leonidas pushing up. Uh, it's about the fight between the Persians and all the like the Greek fight. I got Cersei, the warlord. I got the demons, immortals. I have the Oracle Lady. Uh, so she's kind of like predicting. As far as you can see, she's predicting everything happening right now. And I like Versace, so I have it on my hair, and I have it tatted on my elbow too. So it's Greek, and uh, I'm thinking about getting a Medusa here. But that's uh, until later. So I just like uh, Odyssey means long journey in Greek. Uh, I was born and raised in Cuba, so I had a long journey when I came to the United States. So that's why I named myself Odyssey. Uh, between it's like a, a little mixture between my life and Greek mythology. I like it. So now we have Cuban Greek mythology. Uh, Odyssey. Now that's a mix. Now let me ask you this: You talked about getting something else. Are you going to stop there? Are you going to put something on your back or your legs? What do you think? I'm thinking about doing a Medusa because I want to have snakes coming from my stomach probably like all the way back or I might have the snake coming through here but I'm still searching for ideas because usually before I get a tattoo I like to talk about it I think about it and then when I'm like 100% sure that's when I decide to do it but right now I'm like about 70% because I'm still looking for a good quality picture of a Medusa that can actually match up my, my physique because I'm also a bodybuilder so I don't want to like hide too much of my my uh, quality muscles, I don't want to hide it too much, so I try to keep it a little bit sexy, but in the same time, not too much. So remember, folks, if you're putting tattoos on a body that's got definition, guess what? You want to minimize that so you can see the definition. I get that. Yep. That makes a lot of sense. Now, let me ask you this. One artist do that, um, and if they did, where are they? Um, it's called Basilica. It's on... Um, somewhere around Henderson I don't know the exact address but if you put Basilica on Google it should take you straight up to the store my artist name is Jose Carlos he's a Cuban he's actually Cuban too he's from where I'm from and he's like for me he's like one of the best 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 that I ever had he's very detailed like everything he does is very very detailed he takes his time in every tattoo and I love it I mean it's not even about the money like because this is something you're gonna wear for the rest of your life so I, I seen people getting uh, like really bad tattoos because they want to get tattoos but they don't realize it's going to stay with you for the rest of your life so you got to find an artist and you got to find something that that uh, means something to you and then get that done don't just get tattoos just just for the hell of it unless you're really into the pain which i respect that but every tattoo that i have means something and i'm trying to keep it that way all right so let me ask you how long did it take to do that bad boy uh so far in my body i have like I got at least 50 hours, but every tattoo, like for example, these ones, they're like three, these ones are like 10 hours, and six hours, eight hours. Uh, this one is like six hours, so they're mostly, all of them are like six to, to seven or eight hours. So I got about, probably like around 45 to 50 hours in total. And I'm still going, because I still gotta go back to retouch. Well, you know what, folks? The actual facial images here are incredible. We actually, we sh we've been showing them on the screen the whole time, so we'll make sure that, you know, you can see them real good up close. But more impl importantly, we want to thank you for taking time today. We know you're busy, but folks, I'm telling you, it's a madhouse here. Odyssey took the time, and we are absolutely out of here. From Tat Stories back to you. Kahuna here for Tat Stories, and I've got Emmy. And you know what? Emmy's going to tell us a little bit about why she's removing her ink. And we're going to find out how she's doing it, if there's any pain. Because you know what, folks? That's a story, too. We want to make sure anybody who's on the fence regarding ink gets her take. So, Emmy, tell me, why are you taking it off? Um, I have a few reasons for taking it off. One is just it's easier to get more like universal jobs in the industry having no tattoos because it's very hard to play multiple roles 
with such distinguishing ink. Also, um, I felt like the one on my stomach kind of made my stomach look bigger, made me like get a weird shadow on my stomach. Um, I had a photographer once edit my tattoo off and I just felt like I looked so much better. I was like, wow, like, okay. And I just decided I'm gonna do it. All right, so tell our, tell our viewers, how are you getting it done and is it painful? Um, I am getting it done by laser removal and it is the most painful thing I've dealt with in my entire life. Um, I am on my fourth session right now and it's about halfway done and it I would equate it to like bacon grease burns um, in the shape of a tattoo so it gets it's, it gets very blistered and it takes a few weeks to heal from it it's like pretty like purple and discolored and yeah it's pretty intense <laughs> You heard it, folks. It's like bacon grease. That has got to hurt. Remember, never, ever cook bacon naked. That's why. That's the only way I cook it, though. <laughs> All right. Emmy only cooks bacon naked, so now we know. So she can actually relate the pain threshold for each. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, as a result of doing this, um, you actually think you'll be able to get more work from a versatility standpoint, right? Yes, definitely. It, it stops taking it and making me like a very distinguished character and makes it so I can play. It, it more relies on my acting skills rather than what my body looks like after it's a blank slate. Okay. So basically, Emmy's kind of changing or converting into what might be affectionately referred to as a character actress, right? Sort of? Yes. All right, that's awesome. All right, well, folks, I'll tell you what. I want to thank Emmy for sharing her story because many times, you know, ink's a personal thing, and she's made a personal decision related to that that she wanted to make sure you guys knew about, and I thought it was pretty compelling to get here from an interview standpoint. Emmy, thank you so much. Of course. I very much appreciate it. This is Kahuna and Emmy. We are at the AVN Awards, and we are out. <laughs>